Hello friends. Hope you liked my previous tutorials related with mechanical modeling. In this video, I'll explain the concept of layouts in AutoCAD. But before going to layouts, the knowledge of viewport is essential. So let's see what viewports are. In AutoCAD, you work in two screens. One is called the model space, another one is called the paper space. Presently, you are in the model space because the model tab is active. You create drawings in model space. Another screen is called the paper space which you get when you click on the layout tab. You basically use paper space or layout for printing purpose. We will come to that after some time. Now, I am going to create a number of viewports in the model space. A viewport divide your screen into a number of rectangular subscreens. Now, I'll go to view tab and I'll select a viewport configuration button. I'll just click on that and you can see that it is divided into a number of rectangular viewports. Now, I can select any desired configuration from this list. When I select two vertical, I'll get two vertical viewports. But instead, if I select uh, three left, I'll have a big viewport on the left side and I'll have two smaller viewports side by side in the right side. Now, I can just activate any desired viewport by clicking on that viewport. How will you know that which is the active viewport? In the active viewport, the cursor takes the form of a crosshair. Whereas over here, it is in the form of an arrow because these viewports are inactive. Simply by activating the viewports, you can generate a different views in those viewports. So, I'll just I have activated this already and I'll select uh, the friend to get a friend elevation in this. Now, I'll just activate this particular viewport and I'll select a right side elevation in this viewport. And uh, I can have a plan or a different view over here. If I want, I can further subdivide this viewport into a number of viewports. But I'm not going to do that with the help of the viewport configuration button. But instead, I'll make use of the viewports command. So I type viewports. Now I have got the viewports dialog box here and I'll select three above this configuration. And I can apply this configuration either to the display. When I select display, the entire display will get replaced with the new configuration. But I want this configuration to be applied onto the current viewport. So I'll select current viewport and I'll click on OK. So the existing viewport got replaced with the new one. Now I'll just undo this operation. So why do we make use of viewports? Viewports will lessen the complexity of a drawing while you work as well as when you conduct presentations. Because since we have used viewports, we have more than one views of an object displayed on the screen. Here, you can have individual visual styles on each viewports. For example, over here, if I just click and click on realistic, I can have a realistic representation. And uh, over here, I can have a, a hidden representation. And likewise, you can have different representations in each viewports. Moreover, any drawing or editing operations performed in one viewport will get instantly reflected in rest of the viewports. For example, I'll just try to create a cylinder right on the top of this object. So I'll took the cylinder primitive from the home tab and I'll click to specify the center of it and I'll specify the radius. And I'll just drag the mouse all the way to the top to specify the height and just give a click. The moment the cylinder is created over here and you can see that it got updated everywhere. Now I'm just trying to edit it. I'll change the color of the cylinder using the quick properties. So I'll enable the quick properties over here and I'll just select the cylinder. Now you can see that uh, the property dialog box appears here and I selected a red color from here and the color got changed. So these are the various advantages of using a viewport in a drawing. The only disadvantage is that uh, the model space viewport cannot be plotted on a single sheet of paper. So this concept can be used while you draw objects as well as when you conduct presentations. So if you want to plot multiple views on a single sheet of paper, we have to make use of the layout or the paper space. So before going to layouts, let us save this configuration. A configuration of viewport is nothing but the arrangement of viewports. So I'll give viewports command and I'll give a name at the new name box. I'll give a name as my new. 
you can give any desired name i'll just give okay okay so this configuration is saved as such next we will see layouts before going to layout i'll change the visual style to 2d wireframe i'll also erase the cylinder which i've kept on top now i have created a number of layers over here i have a layer called bottom part in which i have kept this bottom part of the subject and there is another layer called top part in which i have kept the top part and there is also a layer called viewport which i have activated as the current layer with this i'll switch over to the layout so i'll just click on the layout now you can see a viewport over here you can just erase this viewport okay by clicking on the boundary you can erase it now when you go to layout your entire drawing will get covered with an opaque sheet of paper and this is a reconfigurable sheet of paper that means you can change the size and related properties of this paper so how would i change the size for that you can just go to layout tab and you click on page setup and here you can just modify the existing page click on modify and uh, you can change the paper size to a3 size it's 420 by 297 millimeters so i'll select the paper size and uh, you want to plot the layout and your scale should be 1 is to 1 that means you want to plot the paper in its actual size and just give okay and close now this paper represents an a3 size sheet the dashed line on this paper represents the printable area that means anything outside this area will not get printed now on this paper you can either restore the viewport configuration which you have saved before or else you can manually create viewports let's see how to restore the named configuration which you have saved just click on the named button of the layout tab you will see the viewport dialog box appearing here and you can see the viewport configuration which you have saved before select the configuration name and just give okay you can either pick two opposite corner points on the paper to open a rectangle in which the configuration will be restored or else you can just go for the fit option just give an enter to fit the viewport configuration within the printable area i'll erase these viewports and create new one you can also create viewports in varying sizes and shapes on this paper for that you can make use of rectangular polygonal and object options of the layout tab so let me create a rectangular viewport click on rectangular and click the first corner over here and the opposite corner here this is how you make a rectangular viewport you can also try a polygonal viewport just click to define the various vertices to create an irregular shaped polygon and this polygon will act as a viewport and you can also use any existing object as a viewport uh, let me draw a circle so i'll give circle command and i'll draw a circle now you can go to object option and you can select the circle the moment you select it that circle will get converted as a viewport these are the various methods by which you can create viewports manually i'll erase all these viewports and i'll create a new layout but this time i would like to insert a title block on my layout i can very well draw a title block right from the beginning which matches the size of the a3 size sheet i can either do that with the help of standard drawing and editing commands or else i can uh, draw a title block as a separate drawing and i can bring it here that's exactly what i'm going to do now i have a drawing of a title block which is created and kept as a separate file and i would like to insert this drawing into the layout which i have created so i'll switch over to layout and click on the tile vertical option which is available in the view tab user interface palette so click on the tile vertical option since i have opened both the drawings you can see these drawings side by side and you can just zoom out uh, this layout a bit and uh, just select the title block using a selection option just click and drag on the highlighted line all the way to the layout and position it on the layout as best as you can okay 
Now you can just close this drawing and I'll maximize this drawing. Now you can see the title block properly inserted to the layout. Now the title block is displaying various colors because lines in this title block are drawn in different layers. Now I don't want these colors but instead I need just the black color to be displayed. So in that case you don't have to manually change the color to black but instead you can simply change the property of this page. So, so I'll go to layout page setup to access the page setup manager or else you can just uh, right click on the layout tab and you go to page setup manager here and you just go to modify and you can select a plot style table. Okay, I'll select monochrome plot style table and you just click on display plot style on the layout option and just click on this option and just give okay. Now you will see that your title block uh, is shown in black color even if different objects in the title block are drawn in different layers. Now we will create the viewports. So I'll click on the layout tab and I'll select rectangular and I'll click my first corner over here and the opposite corner here. Then I'll click a rectangular once again and I'll click here the first corner and I'll select opposite corner here and I'll create uh, one more viewport using the same procedure. So I've got all together three viewports. Now I have to generate a views on individual viewport. So I'll just double click to activate this viewport. Now you can see that the viewport border has become a thick border which is an indication that it is an active viewport. Now I'll go to view tab, I'll generate a friend elevation in this viewport. So I'll click on front. So I have a friend elevation. I'll double click to activate this viewport and I'll generate a plan in this viewport. So I'll go to top to get a top view. Okay, and I'll activate this and I would like to generate a left side elevation in this viewport. So click on left. Okay, so I've got three views and three viewports. Next, I must specify a scale for individual viewports. For that, I'll just double click to activate this viewport and over here, you can see the existing scale that is called the viewport scale. Just click over there and you can see that the present scale is not a proper scale. So you have to select say one is to one. So it is one on one or one is to one scale. You now just activate this viewport and you specify one is to one scale here and just double click to activate this viewport and I'll go for a two is to one scale here. Okay. You can just pan to show this particular portion clearly. Likewise, you can have a different scales in different viewports. Now, I want to maintain a uniform scale on this sheet. So, I'll bring down the scale of this particular viewport back to 1 is to 1. So, I'll just double click to activate it and I'll set the scale back to 1 is to 1. And I'll just pan it to position it properly. Now, if you zoom or pan inside a viewport, after setting the scale, you might lose the scale. So in that case, it'll be better if you can lock the scale of viewport objects. You can do that with the help of the lock option in the layout of viewport panel. So I'll just select the lock option. It'll ask you to select the objects to be locked. So you select this particular viewport as well as the other two viewports. Okay, I've selected all the viewports. Now, if you try to zoom inside, you will be uh, zooming the entire sheet but you can't uh, zoom inside a viewport because it is locked. Next I'll hide the viewport border. I have already activated a layer called viewports while creating this viewport. So simply by hiding or freezing this layer I can get rid of the borders. So I'll go to layer panel and I'll select a zero layer to activate that as a current layer and I'll turn off or you can freeze the viewport layer. Now the borders got hidden. Next I'll do some editing operations. First of all, I'll double click to edit the layout name. I'll call this particular sheet as fabrication drawing. So I'll simply change the name to fabrication drawing. I'll call it as fabrication TWG for drawing. Okay, now I'll also perform some editing operations on the title block. I'll just double click. I can give the project name as mechanical project. And I'll change the project title as fabrication drawing. I can change the scale as one is to one. 
so i'll change it to 1 is to 1 i'll edit the date to 22 2014 and i have performed necessary editing on the title block hence i have created my first sheet i'll call the sheet as fabrication drawing now i'll just go for a print so i'll give the plot command i'll select the printer as dwg to pdf because i want to print to a pdf file i want to plot the layout okay and if the scale is accurately set because i want to plot the drawing as such now just click on the preview button to preview your plot and if you're happy with it you can just give okay to accept it i'll just keep it on the desktop and it is called mech1 fabrication.dwg and i'll save it okay i'll open it in adobe acrobat reader and you can see all the layers which you have used in this drawing and you can control the display of these layers if you want now i'll create a second sheet for that i'll take a copy from the first sheet and i'll make the second one so i'll just right click on the fabrication drawing layout and i'll click on move or copy option now i will show you all the existing layouts i want to take a copy from the fabrication dwg layout so i'll select that and click on create a copy and i'll just give okay now the software has created a new layout with the name fabrication dwg2 i'll just double click to rename this and i'll call it as presentation dwg okay that's my next layout now i'll just click on that and uh, i'll turn on the viewport layer okay so the viewport layer is on and i'll erase all the viewports so i've got the paper in the required size a3 the title block and all the properties which is set on the paper in this presentation layout i want the objects to be displayed in color so i'll just right click on the presentation layout and i'll go to page setup manager and i'll go to modify and i'll change the style table from monochrome to acad.ctb in which i can access all the colors i'll just give okay and close now i'll open layouts here so i'll just go to layout and rectangular i'll click first corner over here and the opposite corner here to open my first viewport and again i'll just use the rectangular and open one more layout over here okay in this layout i'll just double click to activate it and i'll select the objects and i'll change the color of the objects to color 13 and i'll change the visual style to realistic okay now in this layout i need only the top part to be displayed because i want to give emphasis on the top part so i'll go to home tab and i'll go to layers panel and i'll select the bottom part and here you can see a new freeze option this option will get enabled only when you are in the layout using this option you can freeze a particular layer in a particular viewport so this is the active viewport when i click on the new freeze option of the bottom part that particular layer will get frozen in the active viewport okay now i'll change the visual style to x-ray visual style and i'll change the view to a different view let it be northeast isometric now i'll change the drawing title from fabrication drawing to presentation drawing and i'll change the sheet number to 2 okay so this is my second set of drawing so using the concept of layouts you can generate as many sheets as you want from a single 3d model and each of these sheets can be used for various applications i hope this entire tutorial was useful and it has given you some insights related with viewports and layouts in my next video i'll show you how to maintain a constant size for the text as well as for the dimensions in viewports at different scales